As expected, promoter Floyd Mayweather is not going to allow his newly crowned IBF super featherweight world champion Javante Davis anywhere near Vasyl Lomachenko for now. I'm going to quote Floyd Mayweather directly here. He says, We're not rushing. We're not thinking about Lomachenko. Lomachenko's with top rank. Let him stay over there with top rank. That's where he's at. My guy's going to do his job and I'm going to make sure I do my job to the best of my ability. Tank, there's no rush. You young, we want to build that bank account, be smart, make the right moves. We're not looking to unify the belts right now. We're going to be smart. We're going to move and let him make money and let his money build. And when the time is right, we're going to take the fights we need. Those are the words of Floyd Money Mayweather, the promoter. Now, as I say, this was expected, for me at least, and I think for many people. Javante Davis is only 17-0, and 0, I believe now, 16 KOs. But as I've said previously in relation to Anthony Joshua and several other fighters out there who hold world title belts, if you're going around calling yourself champion and you have a title belt, my view is you have to be willing to fight anyone. Or else, how can you call yourself champion? I have pointed out inconsistencies in the way that certain fans treat certain fighters as opposed to other fighters with regards to giving some guys a pass with taking on weaker opposition and lambasting other fighters who do the exact same thing. But my position has never changed. If you say you're the best, if you're a world title holder, you should be willing to fight the best. And that goes for Javante Davis too. We can't really regard him as a proper champion if he's not willing to fight the best in his division, i.e. Lomachenko, or if his promoter is not willing to let him go in there with the best in his division. And this is one of the problems with having so many world title belts. Because there's only really ever one champion in the division. There's not really multiple champions. There's one champion. There's multiple belts, but there's only really one champion. And when you get a belt, as I say, for me, you, you have a duty to live up to the status of champion. And sometimes it's a situation where I feel, I understand the business of boxing. I understand that you get hold of a belt by any means you can, hold on to it, make as much money as you can out of it, etc., etc. I understand all that. But at the same time, I, maybe I'm being an idealist here, but I would prefer a situation where you don't even try to challenge for a world title until you're willing to fight anybody. It's like when Anthony Joshua fought Charles Martin, I was against it. Not because I didn't think he could beat Charles Martin, but because I still felt he was in the learning stages of his career. And that he wouldn't be willing to take on anybody or, or Eddie Hearn wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be willing to allow Joshua to take on anybody as soon as he won the title. In his you know second defense or whatever, third defense. So I was against... Joshua fighting for the IBF belt at that time. I thought he needed more development. I thought maybe 20 fights in or so, that's when you should send Joshua in to win a title. But then again, looking at it from another perspective, perhaps they thought, you know what? If Joshua was going to be a world champion, we better take this easy option as it's presented itself. Because who knows going to be cha- who who knows who's going to be champion a year or so down the line. It might be somebody that Joshua can't beat. That might be what Eddie Hearn was thinking. Or perhaps Joshua gets beat before he even gets a title shot. So from a business point of view, yeah, I can understand it. But from an idealistic point of view, maybe, from a fan's point of view, from an old-fashioned macho perspective, because boxing is a macho sport, it's all about who can beat who up. It comes down to that basic concept, that premise. Who, which guy is tougher than who? Who can, who, who can beat who up? Who's the baddest boy on the block? And from that kind of perspective, it's like, don't go challenge for the title now if you're not willing to fight anybody. 
Anyway, I'm kind of repeating myself here, so I'm going to end this video. Let me know what you think of Floyd Mayweather's position on Javante Davis blatantly keeping him away from Vasyl Lomachenko for now. Do you think that Javante Davis stands any chance against Lomachenko? Do you think that maybe a year or two down the line he'll stand a chance against Lomachenko? Or do you think Lomachenko is just so damn good that nobody around maybe let's say from featherweight to lightweight will be able to hang with him? Let me know what you think. And how highly do you rate Javante Davis at the moment? How far do you think he can go? My concern with Javante Davis is I think he's a bit short compared to Lomachenko. So that right there is a problem. As good as Javante Davis may become, his lack of height, I think, is a bit of an issue. He did have an extensive amateur career. He's not one of these kind of people that hasn't had a lot of amateur fights. He had plenty of amateur fights. I believe over 200, I think they said during the, uh, the commentary on his title winning performance. So he's got plenty of amateur experience, but now he's going to need the professional experience and there are still holes in his game. He's definitely not the finished article. Still a little rough around the edges, but amazing potential there. So let me know what you think. Do you, do you think that Mayweather's doing the right thing? Obviously, he's looking after his fighter. He's trying to get his fighter rich before he puts him in there with somebody who could potentially beat him, who has a very good chance of beating him, who would probably be the favorite to beat him if the fight got made. Do you think Mayweather's right to do that? Or do you think he's doing the fans a disservice? You think he should throw business acumen out the window and say, no, forget about making Javante Davis a millionaire as quickly as possible. Let me put him in there with Lomachenko now. <laughs> you think, you know, he should be doing that? Or should he be looking after his fighter's financial interests? How much input should his fighter have here? Should his fighter be pushing for the Lomachenko fight? I'll let you guys debate this in the comment section, all right? It's Hatman, I'm out.